Previously on the Secrets of Hyrule. Greetings, traveler. Tell me what it is that you seek. I seek all the secrets and the mysteries of the video game The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I am familiar with that game, and the secrets within are vast. Don't I know it? I've been trying to find them all since the 90s. This is the Trilorium. Within it, you'll find all the secrets to the Ocarina of Time. So, I've been looking through the pages of the Trilorium, and I have to say, I'm impressed. I mean, I consider myself a hardcore Ocarina of Time fan, but most of the stuff in here, I didn't even know about. So, what I'm going to do is reveal its knowledge to you in episodic fashion. In this episode, we're going to explore the secrets in Hyrule's Bodies of Water. Welcome to the Secrets of Hyrule. For this first one, warp to Lake Hylia. It has to be warping, otherwise it won't work. Now walk to the end of the shore, wait a little while, and then if you listen carefully, you can hear the gate of the water temple opening. Look down and you can see the bubbles rising up. I don't know why they programmed it like that, honestly. It's like the designers were like, we're raising the door for you, but you can't come in. Well, I'll show you what, Nintendo. This is why Game Shark was invented. And now, pressing L for levitate, you can take Link outside the boundaries of the map. I need to go down far enough to get underneath the lake and then start swimming towards the water temple. It's a good thing I have the map, otherwise this would be extremely difficult, because when outside the world like this, the camera doesn't follow you that well. And, as they say in Monkey Island, that should do it. Ha! In your face, programmers! Water Temple's entrance, you are now my d Of course, there's not much you can do once down here, since Link doesn't have the iron boots and the spots to lower and raise the water don't register him. Probably because it's up higher on the wall and he needs to be adult Link to reach it. While we're still in this area, let's cover something else about the Water Temple. Using Adult Link, go down to the temple's entrance. Walk in to just a little past the gate. Unequip your iron boots, and you will float up through the ceiling. Once up there, swim a bit to the right, and then re-equip your iron boots again, and you will be outside the map and able to swim around. Using this trick, you can get underneath Zora's Domain's ice by swimming all the way out to the portal. It's very difficult, by the way, because the area is so much smaller than the Water Temple's entrance. But there's also another way to do it, which is honestly almost just as tedious. To start, go to Zora's Domain, then go up to King Zora's Chamber and go to this area of the wall. This could test your patience. Lunge at the wall with your sword continuously until you jump through it. You may think I'm crazy, but this actually happens. See? Look at that. Went right through. The glitches for this game are off the wall. Or rather, in the wall now. Once on the other side, equip the iron boots and walk along the narrow walkway. I say equip the iron boots because if not, you will float upward once you get to where King Zora is sitting. Once you get into this area, you can go off into the water. Put your normal boots back on, and then swim along the walkway until the other map loads. You will fall, and then swim over just a bit, and put the iron boots back on. You are now under the ice. Nothing really going on under here, but it's cool to be able to do. Ah, this is the perfect time to talk about something else that's relevant to this. As young Link, jump into the water and swim to this area right here. Now look down and you'll notice an area that looks like an underwater cave. Now even if you have the scales, you still can't swim down far enough to reach it. 
But since we're already underwater from our last trick, we can mosey on over to it. Even though there is indeed a cave down here, it doesn't lead anywhere. Some fans have speculated that this is where the alleged unicorn fountain that appeared in early screenshots would be. But unfortunately, it's just a hole in the wall. But still cool. And if you'd like to get down to the cave in a much easier fashion, do I have a trick for you. Make sure you're Young Link and then go do the diving game. Once the game starts, get out of the water and stand on this area overlooking the cave below. Now wait for the time to get close to running out. What we want to do here is jump in the air right when the time runs out. If you're even a second too early, it won't work and you'll have to try it again. The end result when you do this correctly is Link will be immediately sent down to the bottom where the cave is. Quickly swim inside before Link automatically swims upward. Pretty neat, huh? And Link can swim around in here without air. So jump into Lake Hylia, or any other body of water around Hyrule, and start swimming. Hold Z and then swim backwards. Then bring up your menu and select the iron boots. Before returning to the game, hold Z and press forward on the analog stick. Link can now swim with the iron boots equipped. When you make it to the land, bring up the menu again and put the cockery boots back on. You can now swim over the ground. Interesting. Travel to the fishing pond and pay the man to start fishing. Now equip the hover boots and run out to the pond. Before your hover runs out, cast the rod. The rod will cast, but Link can now move freely with the line still out. Now walk back towards the door and Link will now exit the fishing pond. And now the fishing rod is still equipped to the B button. However, when you cast it, the game will crash. It looks like Link has taken a leak in the lake. Whoa, try saying that one five times fast. Now we have only just begun to scratch the surface of mysteries in the Ocarina of Time. I mean, look at how many pages. But we'll save those for future episodes. Thank you for joining me.